Four workers were initially trapped. One of them did not survive. KITV4's Jeremy Lee was at the scene all afternoon and now brings us an inside look you'll only see here. A very somber scene here on Aki'i Ki'i Place. The medical examiner's vehicle came and went. This is the scene behind the home that you see to my right where the 15-foot retaining wall collapsed. One person was declared dead, two rushed to the hospital. Take a look at this video. A neighbor shot this. You can see what appears to be the active construction site between a Ki'i Ki'i place and a neighboring street. Over 30 personnel were at work this afternoon, 10 units at all. The 911 call came in at 11.52 p.m., so it was a seven minute response time. Within 20 minutes, they were able to free one person and then another. However, a third person did not survive. It took over an hour of crews working to reach him. Bystanders on the scene tried to remove the debris using the machine excavator that you saw. They were ordered by emergency responders to stop, according to HBD, so that the debris could be stabilized. Then, one by one, HFD and emergency responders removed the debris from the site. It was very difficult to get to with any kind of uh, mechanical equipment. Um, therefore, we had to remove the debris by hand. And our firefighters did everything they could within their power to get to, uh, to, get to the trapped um, persons. HFD said emergency response had a difficult time accessing the site of the 15-foot retaining wall, which they characterize as in the middle of the home's property. HFD did not verify that this was an active construction site. However, I talked to one of the contractor crew workers who confirmed with me that all four people were part of the construction crew. HFD offered their condolences not only to the family of the deceased, but also to the crew and to the homeowner of the house behind me. Reporting from Kailua, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.